Greetings, favored ones. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Blessings to you on our midweek moment. Again, we've been doing these for two years or plus, I believe, for St. Andrew's Lutheran Church and Faith Lutheran in Avon, St. Andrew's in Speedway, Faith Lutheran in Avon, Pastor Doug at your service, uh, featuring a beautiful uh, winter uh, uh, church in the country and some fabulous lights. Um, a special deal at, at uh, Amazon for less than $10. Anyway, I digress again, don't I? Greetings, friends, and I'm, I'm so blessed that I know uh, several of you watch these, and I'm, I'm thankful. Just a couple minutes for encouragement for our daily walk, and uh, today for this week, I want to just uh, preface, preview, if you will, preview the Wednesdays in Lent and make a pitch to you to come. They're going to rotate between the two churches, but I want to say um, about the Wednesdays in Lent to start off with a reminder that we are and having these, and a part of it is because we were not able to last year because COVID was still around and impacting. So we just went right to uh, Bible studies on Wednesday nights um, and continue that through Lent last year. So it's been what, a year or two since we've been together on Wednesday nights, midweek uh, uh, gatherings on a Wednesday night. So um, I want to just preview this briefly and, and encourage you to come. It's fellowship. It's an opportunity to grow and deepen our spiritual walk with the Lord. We're going to study Christian faith practices. Christian faith practices. And you may be seeing Pastor Doug. What in the world is a Christian faith practice? practice. And maybe that's obvious, but uh, we'll, we'll do these all during March. The five Wednesdays in March make up the five weeks of our Lenten journey together. Uh, of course, the first Wednesday that we begin in Lent is next week on the 22nd for Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday on February 22nd at St. Andrews. It'll be a six o'clock soup supper and then a seven o'clock service. It doesn't take an hour to eat, but the idea that is if you have another commitment, if you're coming off work, if you've got a little bit of a drive or whatever, uh, six to seven, you know, we'll be having the soup supper, uh, fellowship time, and then at seven will be our services all through Lent, but especially on Ash Wednesday on the 22nd. And then the next week, which will be March 1, March 1, uh, we will, uh, again, these are going to rotate back and forth. So Ash Wednesday was at St. Andrews. March 1st will be at Faith, and that will be uh, called Lexio Divina. It is a uh, Latin term for divine reading, a divine reading. So we will look together at a way to deepen our reading of the Holy Scripture through Lexio Divina. It involves meditating, contemplating, uh, speaking back the words and so forth. And we'll look at that on the 1st of March at the seven o'clock part of worship. Don't worry about the hour of time at seven. These services I'm designing to be short. So at seven, we will sing a hymn that's appropriate to the study on that given Wednesday. Then we'll have a uh, some prayer and maybe a little bit of liturgy kind of thing. To center ourselves, we'll have the teaching for 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll sing a Lenten hymn and be done. So you're not going to be out late into the evening if that's a concern. There's not communion on Wednesday nights. Uh, we're not going to do a whole lot of stuff. We're just going to focus in on growing and deepening in our spiritual walk. So Lexio Divina, the, the holy reading, a, a new way and different way to look at our Bible reading. Then on March 8th, we hop back over to St. Andrews at, again, six soup supper, seven service. Uh, this will be a one on meditation on March 8th, on meditation. Uh, this is a key principle in the spiritual world. Uh, for us as Christians, do we take some time to meditate? And, and how does that work? 
Um, I'm going to be out at a conference, but but Pastor Chris Wynn has supplied for faith. Uh, he's a great guy, easygoing, and I think Rex will also be there, Pastor Rex from St. Andrews. Both of these men come from the Quaker tradition and will bring thoughts on, because their, tradi their tradition is to be still and to meditate until somebody feels led to speak. So on March 8th, we'll experience meditation led by Pastor Chris at St. Andrews, and I guarantee this will be a moving and, and wonderful night. Then we go to March 15th. March 15th, we're back over at Faith. We'll talk about prayer. Prayer is a Christian spiritual practice. And uh, let's look at centering prayer uh, for an example, or other kinds and other types of prayer. All of these Wednesday night teachings, the five of them in March, are designed to have some experiential part to it. So you'll be asked to take part in the holy or divine reading. You'll be taking part in some meditation on the 8th. And on the 15th, we'll take part together in prayer. You're not going to be asked to pray out loud in front of others, but we will experience different kinds of prayer uh, together. And then uh, we go on. The season of March moves on. We go to the 22nd. And we are back at St. Andrews for the 22nd, and that's on journaling. Our practice that uh, that night will be journaling. The idea of journaling, writing in a journal, uh, is a huge spiritual practice for many people. And so we will experience that together uh, on that night on the 22nd. Journaling. What, is it, what does that mean? How do you do it? What's it all about? We'll experience some writing down of some thoughts to get ourselves engaged in these practices. We're not just going to hear about them. We're going to be engaged in holy reading, in meditation, in prayer, in journaling. And then the last of our Lenten uh, Wednesday nights is the 29th, where we're back at faith. And that one will be on uh, mindfulness. Mindfulness. There's a whole Christian teaching around the idea of being mindful, being uh, locked into the present moment to, to become mindful of your what's going on, what, what's alive for you, uh, what has energy inside of you, mindfulness. We'll talk about that together. We'll experience some reflective thinking, some working with what our mind is feeling and thinking in the current moment mindfulness will wrap up our five-week Lenten journey. And then after that's the 29th, so then the following week is Holy Week, and we don't have a Wednesday night uh, other than the Bible study. We'll be, we'll be looking at the Easter lessons on April 5th, but on Thursday, April 6th, that's Monday, Thursday in the Holy Week uh, pattern, which you're all used to. Monday is the um, Latin for commandment, where Jesus gives that command uh, to love one another as he washes the disciples' feet. But at faith, we'll have an agape supper on April 6th, the Thursday of Holy Week. I believe it'll be at 6 p.m. More details will be coming out in the next month. But we did it last year. It was a huge success. Many people loved it. An agape supper. A agape is another word for love. A love supper. We all love supper, but we'll put the two together and have this as part of our Monday, Thursday, Holy Week experience. And then on Friday, Good Friday, uh, that's April 7th, we'll have a seven o'clock service at St. Andrews. We're going back and forth, as you notice. Good Friday, seven o'clock at St. Andrews, where we will um, hear about you know, the seven last words that Jesus spoke and, and sing some very meaningful uh, hymns that night and really move into uh, these final days of Christ. Nothing is planned for Holy Saturday. Uh, at St. Andrews, they have a, a history of an Easter vigil held late in the evening, Saturday night. We're not doing that this year. Easter morning, there'll be a sunrise service uh, at uh, Faith, as we have done the last two Easter's that I've been here, and you're welcome to come to that. Uh, we'll do a sunrise. Faith likes a sunrise service. Sunrise on Easter Sunday morning, April 9th, 
is at 7.16 a.m. 7.16. Now, historically, that's very cold uh, in April. I imagine it would be, although who knows in our current, I mean, you look at this week, we're in the 60s and almost 70s. Anyway, there'll be a prayer. We'll have a little prayer time outside, and then we'll come in for the service, the sunrise service. On Easter morning, 716 is when the sun rises exactly. And then the two churches will have their normal 9 and 11. So it'll be good. I believe St. Andrews has some breakfast. Uh, I know Faith does afterwards, and St. Andrews will before. Uh, there'll be an Easter breakfast before the service at 11. These are all great services and great opportunities, opportunities to invite someone to extend the hand of fellowship to a neighbor, friend, family member, and say, come, come with me and enjoy some soup, supper, and conversation with my church friends and family, and then we'll grow together in our spiritual walk by experiencing with, with a uh, faith practice, a, a Christian faith practice. So any questions, you can let me know. All of this is being sent out to you. It'll be in the March newsletter. It'll be announced. You know this. Uh, I invite you to take part on the Wednesday nights. Your attendance, your being there means a lot to all of us because without you, someone is missing. These are great opportunities to expand and strengthen and grow our shared ministry together. The two churches can relate and get to know each other and, and all of that. So these are fascinating, exciting things to think about for our Lenten journey. I'm with you in the middle of it all, through it, and if you need anything about Lent, have any questions, as always, let me know. So once again, the Lenten Wednesdays, I, I laid it out, and it'll be coming to you in the mail and in, in announcements and other ways. Pray about all this. Plan to attend. Make a commitment, a Lenten commitment to come to every Wednesday night. It's only an, uh, an hour or so at the most. The services are going to be relatively short, but important experiential ways to grow in our faith. That's what God calls us to do. Amen. Amen. Amen.